Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. Today I have a rather short game for you, but this one is supposedly very, very highly reviewed, highly rated, and has been suggested to me by one of you guys. So I am looking forward to playing it. It is called Tomorrow Won't Come for Those Without blank. And it actually says blank, like literally tomorrow won't come for those without blank. But uh, this should be about an hour long. It's an RPG maker indie game. And I took a look at the art style. Looked very, very interesting. And, you know, I'm excited to be able to play this game with you guys. If you do enjoy these gameplay videos, if you do enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. Join us on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Anthony Chen. And uh, thank you guys for the support. And without further ado, this is Tomorrow Won't Come for Those Without B Blank. I, yeah, blank. Okay. Shall we begin? No longer slaves to our imagination. At last, we saw the truth. With no leaders to tie our limbs, at last, we found our calling. Both loved and hated by you, at last, we can meet. New order, infinity, in infinity, in infinity, 231. Controls, arrow, move, space, advanced text, interact, escape menu. Would you like to turn off flashing images? Okay, this is your, uh, this is your warning. There will be flashing images within this gameplay. So uh, if you are sensitive to these type of things, maybe not the game for you. Oh, well, I just turned it off, so I lied. No flashing images. Uh, there are no flashing images. You, you are safe. You can, you can stay here. <clears throat> Ori. I knew it would come to this since the start. Is he in a bathtub? This was an inevitable outcome. Yet, comforted by cold walls of the tub, I quietly prayed that tomorrow would never come. What does that mean? Oh, wake up, guided soul. There's no time to lose. I've slept for too long. Early bird gets the worm, conductor always says. I should find my rosary soon, or I'll forget again. Oh, okay, so we have to find a rosary. Uh, little t tubes with shampoo, hand soap, hair conditioner, and body scrub are neatly lined up on the sink. You woke up in this bathtub. Your rosary is missing. And these clothes? The bin is full of used paper tissues. It smells of lavender. No toilet paper left. So we go out here. Oh, is that our rosary? There's a welcoming flyer and an unidentified snacks from the hotel staff on the shelf. Welcome, Ori Feel. Get the most out of your stay. Order extra services at the reception desk, hotel staff. Acquired a cup of questionable snacks. Coat and snow umbrella. You can't go out without your rosary. Food delivery, okay. Where is the... Lavender blood. Someone's body. It's of little importance to you right now. You need to find your rosary first. Okay, just a random dead person on the ground? S seems legit. Dang it, I can't turn back on the flashing lights. <laughs> All right, I think this is our rosary here. It's finished charging, it's at a healthy 100%. You can pray to your rosary anytime using the R key. Oh, what should I do? Check the body and leave. Where am I? At the hotel, okay. <laughs> Search the body, yes. A card holder full of discount vouchers and half empty pack of salamic licorice chewing gum. Oh my god, poggies! Discount vouchers! That's crazy! We got a we got a card holder. Okay. Who is the person in my bedroom? Unknown. Okay, even the rosary doesn't know. What's the purpose of my stay? Find the source of the dithyrams. What is, what is that dithyram? Okay, looks like we can pray to our rosary there. Is this like a closet? Neatly folded bathrobe on the shelf. Oh. 
Your bed is unmade. What would the conductor say about this? Okay, well, um, I guess we'd go out now, right? Because we have our rosary. Forget the person. You got mildly, mildly curious about the body in your bedroom, so you want to find a way to identify it first. Oh, we're probably supposed to use this. Orfield, prophet of the digital Aura Violet class thrones. What? Um. Oh, card holder. The card holder is full of confusing small papers. 10% off all vitamins until 2702. Health on time, call now and get a chance for an appointment two weeks later. Two bottles of C Buckthorn juice for the price of one. Okay, where's where's the ID card? Oh. Here it is. Ramil, student ID. You didn't know there were still students around these days. This is a student. Apparently we don't know them, but suppose we go out now. Oh, what is this? Indulgences, only five Yuli, one per person. Oh, like a vending machine? Okay, seems like there's one, two, three, four, five doors that we can go through. What do you think this big purple one does? The veil won't let you in, as if there's a barrier. You see letters above it. Tomorrow won't come for those without a friend. Do we need to find a friend? Yo, Ramil! Come come with me? Buddy? My friend? You wanna wanna go over there? Okay, guess not. Uh what is this door? Oh, I can go in. Wait, this is just another room, right? A familiar face. His grayish skin seems to be bloated as if his body has been there for a long while. You feel that if you pull the plug, it will get flushed down the drain. You notice something floating in the water. A keycard. And a razor blade. Oh. Wait. Wait, this is me. Wait, and then is this Ramil? Wait, 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 wait. Is that this is where we came from? Another room. It's the same room. Card pack. Nothing in the bathroom. Wait, there's nothing in here, though. Same thing. Raymel. Wait, this is Raymel's room. D does my room say Welcome Ori? I need to check. Oh, it does. So... What is this? Whose room is this? No one's room. Okay, what about... Do not disturb sign hanging on the doorknob. You were taught not to intrude. Okay, last door then, I guess. Unless we can go down the hallway. Oh. There's someone inside. They're crying. You were taught manners by conductor, so you knock. Hello. Can you open the door? I need a friend to go through the veil. So I was wondering, maybe you could agree to fulfill that role for a few minutes. Uh, <clears throat> you hear a loud thud, then the sounds behind the door disappear altogether. You ponder ways to open the door in a more efficient manner. The door seems to be blocked off by a barrier. It occurs to you that you can use violet blood to perform a sacred ritual to get in, Huh? Find a way to open the locked door. We need to do what? Okay. Guess we're gonna...
Is there a glass here? Hmm, I need a glass or container. What about this? No. Do I have a glass or container? Card pack, ID, license card, rosary. Hmm. Okay, we need a cup. Some sort of cup. Where can I get a cup from? Maybe our room? There's no cups here. Can I open this? The closet is empty. Maybe there's something in the closets. Oh. I don't have any cash. Yeah, I can't buy anything. Okay, Rosary, tell me what to do. It says find a way to open the locked door, man. Oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe they have cash. Oh, questionable snacks. Wait. We eat the snacks and we get an empty cup. Okay, wait, we have it now. We have it. It cuts through the skin and the air becomes filled with lavender. Cup of blood. Here we go. You draw a symbol on the door and activate it. The door opens with a quiet click. You can enter now. Who's this? Raymel? Wait. This is also Raymel? It's dark in the room. You see a person curled up in a corner, shuddering heavily and clutching something in their hands. They seem familiar. You crouch near them and tilt your head. You're Rem, right? I found your student ID. Here, I'll return it to you. You gave the student ID back to Rem. I'm Ori. Re, Re. You know, I was thinking, if there are rooms where you died, there has to be a room where you're alive, right? You're not making any sense. Oh, you talked. Can you help me lift the barrier in the corridor? The rosary says it's important. Only if you do something for me first. Sure, what is it? When Rem stands up, you notice what he has been holding all this time. Little tubes of free hygienic products offered by the hotel. Bring me these from the other bathrooms. So I guess we gotta... Rem has reluctantly joined you. All right, we have one to our party now. This bed is unmade like ours was. Rem, why weren't you able to get the freebies yourself? I couldn't, the smell was revolting. The smell, hmm, I like it though. I'll be outside. Okay, guess we grab these for him. Rem. Oh. Hmm, nothing in here. I should make you some tea. Why? It helps calm down after crying. I asked my rosary. Should we make tea? Rubio's tea, he drinks it with a sour face. Gave cup of tea to Rem. Okay. Wait, cup of tea? What cup did we use? Okay, there's still this one. I'm not going in here. I, I can understand why. Okay, so there's nothing in here. Huh? Wait, I was standing here, right? Wait. He's... We're not here anymore. Yeah, I thought we were in there. What happened? 
I guess there's only one room left, which is our room. So we, we got all the hotel freebies already, right? What is What else is there to give him? He's not coming in here. Violet liquid left in the sink. I, th I thought we already got everything. Fuck. It's the second time you're staring at it. I can get one for you if you want it so much. <laughs> really? Thank you, Rem. Bought an indulgence. An indulgence? What is it, an indulgence? We have one triangular indulgence. Use it and one of your triangular sins will be forgot, will be forgiven. Take indulgence? Yes. For as long as I can remember, there were always the two of us. Me and her. Me and my sister. Ori and Mary. Even after I became a chorister and she left to the monastery, I still hear her voice in my head, but I no longer remember her face. In its place is a face that belongs to someone else. Mm -hmm. Okay, can I use any other items? Because I don't think there's any other freebies from the bathroom, right? Collector's card, type 12. I got a type 12 card. Domain thighs covers inner thighs of the host with thousands of copies of itself, absorbing self-doubt. That is creepy. All right, we have our license card. Uh, what, else, what else can we do here? What should I do? Look for all the hotel freebies you can find inside the bathrooms. You haven't fulfilled your promise yet. Sorry, I keep forgetting. I I thought we already grabbed everything from the hotel bathrooms, right? Is there anything left for us? This is where we started. There's nothing here. You remember your sister staying in the bathroom for hours, keeping the tap open above her head. This way, no one would hear her whimper. I think we already got everything. Bottom right, done. Middle, done. This room. Nothing in here. Oh. Wait, but they're- Oh, I thought we already checked this. What do you need them for? They're free, right? I don't remember the last time I was able to simply take things I like. And here they are, just laying around, unneeded by anyone. Looks like I found all of, all of them. Okay, I guess we found everything. Tomorrow won't come for those without a friend. Rem, are you coming? Why must I follow you? Why, you say? To be honest, I don't know. Let me ask my... That again? You're right. Then I'll improvise. You grab Rem by the collar and pull? Dude, this guy is unhinged. Engulfed by the violet light, both of you fall through the veil. You fall right onto the linoleum floor. It isn't a particularly soft fall. Rem is clumsily trying to get up. You are the worst. Like you're one to talk. <laughs> Didn't I just soften your fall? <laughs> you dragged me here against my will. God, I cannot believe this. God? You talk funny. Conductor would ask not to mention that word. I don't want to hear that from someone who... Forget it. So what do you plan to do now? Move forward, of course, to tomorrow. Tomorrow won't come for those without faith. Faith? Where are we supposed to find that? Isn't it something you're supposed to have naturally? Rem, that's a logical fallacy. You don't get born with imaginary order ingrained into your brain. You learn to believe it, to believe in it, as you become influenced by others. But that's all there is. It's all in your imagination. 
says a person who prays to a device at the slightest doubt. <laughs> the rosary only states the facts. This is different from baseless beliefs. Sure thing. Then tell me, Rem, what should I do? The veil won't let me in. Here's a logical fallacy for you. What does this have to do with me? Go figure it out yourself. <laughs> Rem has left. Wait, where'd he go? Left where? All right, Rosary. What should I do? Find a way to break the... Okay, thank you. What is this? Another card pack. I love opening card packs. What do you guys think we're going to get out this time? Type 9? Wow. Memory. Replaces stressful memories with commercial sequences where all faces are blurred out. So kind of like our memory of Mary, right? Hmm. I don't have any Yuli on me. Maybe I can find some laying around. Enter the room? Yes. Sunday class lesson. Patterns? Celestials affect behavioral patterns of their hosts. Remember its movements and choose the right pattern at the end of the round. Oh god, is this a memory game? This place feels familiar. Round one will now commence. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. I thought I had to actually follow it. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Moving on to the next round. Round two will now commence. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. What the heck is that? Boom. Boom, boom. Uh, uh, uh. Oh god, why is this so hard? <laughs> what? Round three is the final round. Oh god, okay. Okay, square. Kind of like a rectangle. It went up and to the side. Three. I failed the test. Oh my god. <sighs> There's nothing you could do. You guys suck. What the heck? Okay, okay, I got it. I got it this time. Okay, square ish. Yes, yes. Okay, it's an S. This is an this is a two. A two. Three. Boom, boom. Cr shoot. It's one. Wait, it's one, right? It's one. It has to be three. The results will be announced in a moment. Oh my god, I'm so good. I am so different. I've passed. Conductor will be proud of you. It was sunny on Sunday. During one of the open door days in church, we stood behind the glass, trying to get a better look at the purification ceremony. In the midst of it all was Conductor himself. There's one thing you should know about Celestials. And that thing is, Celestials are deceitful, Conductor proclaims his voice loud and piercing. Those polluted by them may appear human, but they're anything but. They exist as tiny particles in the air and may assume a solid form at will. Once they enter your body, they'll fill your mind with noise, the dithyrams, and enslave you. But have no fear. The celestial I have here has already been weakened. All that's left is the final purification ritual. Only then, this child will be free. As Conductor spoke, he rose his heavy hand above the polluted. Remember, a man is a slave to no one. 
And then I was blinded by Violet. What? So there's celestials that apparently pollute people, but there's a way to, there's a ritual to save them, I guess? We'll enter this room here. Sunday class lesson, barriers. Celestials create mental barriers inside the host's mind in order to alter their narrative. Interact with items and find the right sequence of actions to lift the barrier. You have a 120 second time limit before you become polluted yourself. Only your actions will consume time. Make sure you don't run out of it. Okay. Uh, inspect, switch off. Inspect, it's a lamp you'd normally find in modern homes. There's nothing unusual about it. It's a halo terminal. Thanks to the unique mimicry technology, Celestial starts to perceive you as one of their own. Therefore, by wearing a halo, you gain protection from celestial influence. A protective capsule against biohazards. You know it's useless against celestials. It's because they're not biohazards. They're psychohazards. Portrait of the conductor. It glows eerily. What is this? Turned on the switch. What'd that do? Card pack. It's a containment bag for the polluted. It's cold to the touch. So, dead. You tried to proceed. You, you tried to proceed, but the noise was too loud for you to bear. Lost 20 seconds. How many seconds do we have left? Okay, okay, okay. I think. Where the halo? Okay, we put on the halo, right? Oh, there we go. Wait, it's... It's Rem! Huh? I don't get it. Matches. Yulai. Oh, we're out of time. Okay. So what is the right play here? We have to find the right sequence. Okay, we're the halo. Oh my god, I lost 10 seconds here. We need to turn on this light. I'm grabbing the I'm grabbing the card pack. There's nothing in here, right? Oh, there's nothing here. Okay, here's the matches. Here's the Uli. Set on fire. The white bulky mass stays unaffected. Rem disappears. What? What do we do now? Oh. The Great Disillusionment, author Rem. Before it happened, all we were doing was trying to avert our eyes from the world around us. All we were doing was desperately trying to escape into stories we made up on our own. Refusing to accept that living in the real world meant accepting that it is, in fact, a barren world. That's right, the world is all but a void. A void devoid of purpose and meaning. Purpose and meaning are human concepts. Concepts which could only be devised by beings with imagination. But now we no longer rely on our imagination. We no longer believe. There is no more blind trust. We're completely utterly disillusioned. One could say we finally accepted our reality the way it is. That brought about even more devastating consequences. Because we no longer believe in narratives, we've lost our ability to dream. 
Because our creativity erosion, many of us began desperately looking for an intervention from the outside. We want to be polluted by remnants of pre-humanity. We want to be forced to forget, to remember what it is like to have faith in ourselves. Everyone is tired, so, so tired. The spread of celestials and voluntary pollution is a symptom of a sick nation. You may try to purify all of the polluted. However, all of your efforts will end up in vain because we don't want to be saved. Did Rem really write this? Dude, the sound. successfully passed the lesson. Oh, it's going away. Okay, let's open our card pack. What do you think we got? Type three, what is that? Post-truth emits a tremendous amount of information noise, obstructing data transmission and comprehension. Indulgence. Okay, we have another one. Let's use it. Uh, square indulgence. Use it and one of your square sins will be forgiven. Take indulgence? Yes. We'd often wander into the forest at night without our parents knowing. We liked being in the dark. During the day, all of us were taught the same thing over and over. If you want to stay in the light, you ought to be honest. All the good children always stay transparent. Only then will you become enlightened. But during the night, we were free to do anything we wanted because the forest kept all our secrets. All we knew was the warmth of our joined hands and it was all that mattered. We even came up with our own game. Mary would come up with a story and I would act it out. You turned left and froze. There was something in the bushes she would narrate. Your gaze was met with many eyes staring right at you in the dark. Come out, X-Form. I'd name it right on the spot. The X-Form stays hidden, Mary played along. You can feel your thoughts spherify. But you have nothing to fear. You have the power of friendship on your side. You get closer, and... Will you be my friend? I asked. Mary let out an exasperated sigh. Ori, you're supposed to fight it. But Mary, didn't you say I have the power of friendship? It's a figure of speech, Ori. You never understand things like this. Mary, you need to tell me these things directly. Besides, I really want to know what it's like. Even though it's dangerous? What if it's just really, really afraid? Afraid of what? Hmm. Looks like I can leave now. I wonder if I'll see Rem again. Oh, Rem, you're here. I think I found my faith. Good for you. Is that it? What does it say? Tomorrow won't come for those without a rosary. Poor Rem, you don't have a rosary, right? Are you making fun of me? I am not. Let's find you a rosary. I don't need it. Come on. Conductor says everyone should have one. That goes for students as well. Rem joined you. He follows you at a one meter distance. <laughs> I, I see. All right. What should I do? Visit the rooms and find a way to break the barrier. Okay, and the Dithy Rams is the noise pollution in our head, right? Caused by the Celestials. Let's see. Oh, Sunday class lesson, light. Those polluted by celestials are wandering in the dark. Find all of them. What the? This, these places seem familiar. Have I been here before? Ask your precious rosary. I'm getting good at this. You aren't really doing anything. <laughs> Alright, rosary. What should I do? Okay, it doesn't tell me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I found one more. How many, how many are there? Oh, 
You? What are these dark figures supposed to represent? Way too oversimplify. Is something on your mind, Rem? Ah, I said it out loud. Yeah, what do they represent? And how do I know which one I found it before? That's a halo. You? What about the top half of the screen? It's kind of creepy. On you already. Maybe in the corner? Just a touch and done, huh? Wait, what? Ooh, who else am I missing? Oh, okay. I think if they're dark figures, that means we haven't found them before, right? So we just need to turn them all... Oh, you. Card pack? All these lessons remind me of Sunday school. We used to play tag too. Looks like they use storytelling to ingrain teachings of the choir in long-term memory. First, you start with abstract activities that are combined with explanations of basic concepts. Obviously, they're, o they're simplified for children. Doing so makes further learning easier on the basis of prior knowledge. Rem, you're spacing out. This is a global war for our souls. A war each of us has to fight on their own. If you alone fail to resist it, all of us will fail. The choir can only guide you back to the light. The final decision can only be made by you, and you alone. Eh? Oh, we passed, I guess. Choose one indulgence or po polka? Polka? You've never seen one? Poem, kaleidoscope, or polka for short. It's akin to a poem generator. Issued once a month, one per person, one time use. Each issue contains a poem written just for you. Until you open your own copy, you'll never know what you'll get. Sounds like a scam. <laughs> we should definitely get one. Are you sure? You can only choose one. Oh no. Do we get the personalized kaleidoscope thingy or do we get an indulgence? An indulgence is kind of going to is, is going to give us our past though, right? I want both. Okay, I have a save before we get both of them. Poke up. Ah, I don't have any Yuli. Bruh, this dude. Okay, so we still can't go backwards. What's this room? Sunday class lesson strategy. Strategic planning is essential when court concerning a celestial. Put yourself and conductor into a winning position against the celestial. Movement rules can be assessed from the info stand. Avoid noise polluting tiles. Once you've created a checkmate situation, press T key. Celestial chess rules. Did you forget to take your shoes? Both conductor, wait what? I didn't forget them. A certain someone pulled me along, remember? What does that mean? Both conductor and celestial can move one square in any direction, so long that square is not attacked by an enemy piece. Coisters move, co co coisters move horizontally or vertically any number of squares. They cannot jump over pieces. Wait, what? What is a checkmate situation? T. Is this checkmate? T. What is checkmate? T. 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 I'm confused. I, I think I got them stuck in the corner. <laughs> Wait, I got them stuck in the corner. Help. <laughs> what? Start over. T. T. Wait, what am I supposed to do here? 
All right, Rosary, tell me what to do. Yes, the conductor found seven polluted children. The chorister helps six of them. So like... Wait, what do I do now though? It said press T, right? Oh, do I have to be? Oh, am I a piece? Oh, I never understood why the choir would hunt them. Who? Celestials, thrones, cherubim, and the others. Ah, tomorrow won't come without a sacrifice, right? Conductor's words. He says they serve the wrong gods. Oh, that's what it meant. <laughs> I, I get it. Rosary. Now there's nothing to worry about. Um. All right, let's get the uh, indulgence this time. What do we see now? This is the circular one. Take indulgence, yes. Oh, many knew her as a relaxed person. She always seemed like she was in a light revere, unconcerned with earthly matters. But I knew how she'd erratically look in each and every mirror she'd find. How her notebooks would be filled with drawings of herself. How she cried in the bathroom, her sobs drowned out by flowing water. As if she needed constant confirmation she existed. As if she was worried she looked off. As if she needed practice to stay herself. I knew. One day she looked in a mirror and said, This body is no longer your sister's. She can no longer write her narrative. Therefore, she has no history. Therefore, she is missing. Then, who are you? I asked, puzzled. I am an alien. I never understood what she meant by those words. The next day, Mary painted her nails violet. So Mary... Mary got taken over by a celestial then, right? That's what it must mean. This one here. All right. Looks like we have our rosary as well as everything completed, right? So we should be able to enter now. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait. We never use the, uh... Wait, did we ever use the thing? Oh, oh, maybe we did use it. All right, collector's card type one. Domain Shadow, the Eldest. Distorts con continuity, converting affected areas into liminal spaces. Is that a crack in the wall? Oh, you're right. The wallpaper here is torn, revealing a small tunnel underneath. Peek inside? Yes. Whoa. What is this? Rem, look, there's one last card pack. What's so good about them? You never know what you'll get when you'll get doubles. If I get doubles, I'll share them with you. Oh. Caring about each other brings all of us closer to the light, Conductor says. Forget it, I don't want them. Card pack. All right, what are we gonna get now? Collector's card type one. Oh, wait, it's a, it's a duplicate. <laughs> well, I guess we did get a dupe. Dried apples, bread crackers, camo bar. Each package is made in black and white with the black letters stating the name of the product in front and nutritional value in the back. Bleh, no one would buy a camera bar at their own will. It definitely could use some advertising. <laughs> Rosary, define advertising. <laughs> Noun, pre-humanity era. The activity of or profession of producing advertisements for commercial purposes or s for commercial products or services. Why would food need something like that? All of it comes from supplies department anyways. R Rem, why are you hoarding the disinfectants? I don't mind, but <laughs> it'll be hard to move around with all these bottles. 
Right, I don't really need that many. You should just bubble up if you feel unsafe. Bu bubble up? I don't know what that means either. All right, well. Guess we go through. About Celestials. Hmm? I don't think they're serving anyone. Enslaving themselves is something only the enlightened do. Whatever that means. Choose a free indulgence or a card pack. Oh my god. Do we learn more backstory? Do we get more lore? Or, or do we get a gotcha? Oh my god. They're giving them out for free, Rem. Would you like one too? I have no need for things like these. Okay. I'll have one. All right. We have the star, star cross, the cross indulgence. It was the day I applied for the choir. Everyone was happy for me, except Mary. She woke up late at night and dragged me out of bed. Oh, she has the violet nails now. Back into the forest. It was the first game we had played in five years. Ever since she proclaimed herself an alien, we never played together again. Yet there she was, narrating my journey like nothing had happened. You wandered too far into the forest, but there's no turning back now. You'll have to face it on your own. You see the X form, illuminated by faint moonlight. Then Mary suddenly stopped. Mary? Listen, Ori. You have to remember what I'm about to say. With those words, she cupped my face in her hands. Don't let anyone know you're sane. Make everyone think you're ignorant. Make them think you're forgetful. Make them think you're unable to think on your own. This way, no one will ever hurt you. So I just have to pretend? Yes, yes. It's just like playing with me, right? I will be the narrator, you'll be the hero. But Mary, you won't always be here for me. I'll join the monastery, Mary had said in a whisper. Then you'll be able to hear my voice anytime. At first, it'll be hard, but I'll always be here to guide you. Promise me, Ori. What? It says approach the barrier. Rem, look. Yeah, is she the rosary then? I don't understand this one at all. Rosary doesn't give me anything either. Tomorrow won't come for those without blank. That's because the word's crossed out, genius. I can only speculate it's a word consisting of nine letters. There are too many nine letter words. How are we supposed to know what it is? How about we check what's behind those doors? You go first. Okay. He agreed. <laughs> Nine letters. Tomorrow won't come for those without what? One of two rooms will lead to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't worry, Rem. Rosary knows where to go. How does it know? Hmm. No idea. <laughs> that again? <laughs> but if there are worlds where we fail, there has to be a world where we guess everything right. Right, Rem? He does not look happy. Like I said, you go first. Let's see how reliable your rosary is. Okay. Or he left. Wait, he left? I don't really have to, but I really want to see if he tripped over himself. There's no need for me to choose the same door as him, though. Do we go in the same room as Ori, or do we go in the other room? One of these rooms is right, one of these rooms is wrong. Ori went in the left, do we go in the right? I'm gonna follow him. Save here, file six. Ram, you made it. Oh, you're still here. The rosary is guiding me towards the right path. Yeah, yeah, keep believing. I'll prove it to you. See you behind the next door. He went to the left. 
is this. Choose only the right answer. So the left is the conductor and the right is a celestial? Did he even look at these? <laughs> Should I really follow him? Let's, let's keep going. Hi, you were lucky. It's not luck, I was guided here. Follow me. He went to the right. I guess it is, right? See, it wasn't a coincidence. You keep saying that. I'll be going ahead then. Left was whatever that is. Oh, it's him and wait, I'm confused. So he's just full faith going towards the conductor, right? Yeah, what happens if we go through the other path? Bro, 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 bro. Okay, well. Hmm. I wonder if there's any way we can go through the, I wanna see what's beyond the other door though. Okay, I guess we do follow him. Yeah, that's the conductor. <laughs> you were lucky. It's not luck, I was guided here. Follow me. Yep, it's the right one. See, it wasn't a coincidence, you keep saying that. What is this time? Yes, it is. Three times in a row. So that's how it is. He really is guided by something. There's no way that's possible. Oh. Rem, you're here. It actually worked. Told you, didn't I? Let's move forward. To tomorrow. The zero key. Or the O key? Oh. Oh god. So I can switch between them now. Statue of a girl. She's holding a lantern in her hands. Take the lantern. Something in the room shifted. I have the lantern now. Did something change here? Oh, what's this? Primary object. Whatever that means. Ring a bell. I rang the bell. Something in the other room shifted. Y you alive, Rem? Wait, what shifted here? A wave transmitter. Statue of the conductor. I'd rather not approach it. Tomorrow won't come for those without one, two, three, four, five. Hmm, it's the same thing as before. Rem? Oh! The smell is awful. Extractor. I'd rather have Ori enter. What the? Poor thing. Isn't that you? What is this? Okay. Wait. Someone left scented party decorations here. It's a purification capsule. Enter Pyrrhica. Yes. Come on, come, take a good look. His name is Rem. I like him. Me too. Rem, can I brush Rem's hair? Rem's eyelids are red. I'll bring Rem a blanket. Easy there. You know what to do, right? We'll bring him back. Back into the light. How could I forget? Wait for me, Rem. Secondary object. Wait, so we stay. They're mirroring each other. He 
Dave's already been in it. Have we? Nothing's happening. Maybe it's broken. Okay, we already went in that one. Reception desk. Okay, what's on this side? Exhibit A, the delusional, it says. Rem, that's you. Can I hit you? <laughs> you reach out to the monument. Ah, I heard it. Hurt what? One, two, three, four, five. Tomorrow won't come for those without what? I already inspected everything. Let's see. Of confinement and solitude, of stillness and hysteria. I was born inside a box, a small stuffy cube. Inside the box, it was dark, so I couldn't have known what I was. All I knew was that I existed. All I could do was to exist. A cube? The more I tried to move, the more the cube's wall closed in on me. I was scared. But the world outside the box was much, much more scary. Outside the box, it was quiet. So I remained still and waited. All I could do was wait. A cube? What does that mean? Okay, I have the lantern, right? What the heck is that? Wait, you guys hear that? Wait, where did where did our lantern go? Okay, rosary. What should I do? Find a way to break the barrier. Switch points of okay. Why is Rem not talking to me? Insufficient data for analysis. Try self-distancing. Two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Conductor always said, when something is too much to bear, when you feel like you can't go on, write it down. When you make sense of your thoughts, you'll come to terms with your new reality. So he's telling you to rationalize it and be happy. You're making it sound bad. I think of it this way. The statue crumbled because it was meant to be broken. It's simply a puzzle we need it to solve. A puzzle to solve, huh? Solve. Why does it say solve? Cube, solve? Do I have anything I can use? We use the primary and secondary objects. Conductor. Oh, what's this? Tertiary object. One day the walls crumbled without a warning. Suddenly I was free. I could go anywhere, but instead I ran and ran and ran until I found another box. Inside, I felt safe again. Another box? What do we do now? It's getting louder. Okay, any items I can use here? Oh, I have all the- I, I have all the objects. Oh, what? Hey, what's wrong? Orchestra out of tune. Buy it now. Limited time offer for returning customers. Worms squirming under the skin. Rem, or what are you waiting for? Non-stop chat notifications. Bling, bling, bling. Flies swarming over rotting fruit. Children laughing. Look, he can't get up. You know, Rem, 
The choir exists to inspire people because they forgot how to dream. Says Rosary? No. These are conductor's words, but I believe so too. That's why. What? Wait for me, Rem. I'll catch up in a moment. It, it's getting louder. Approach from behind and destroy the barrier? Conductor's voice rings in my head. Celestial bodies are indestructible. All we can do is weaken their conscious minds. A celestial's mind is like a cacophony, ca cacophony of musical instruments. As long as they keep playing, it stays active. As long as they keep playing, the noise in your head won't go away. You have to make it quiet. Destroy all the barriers they have set up inside their host's mind. That way, they'll become harmless. Barriers may appear in different forms. It might be a door, an item, a person. Once you break it, you'll weaken the Celestial's influence. We have no choice but to stand up against them. Only then, tomorrow will come for humanity. You knew what to do since the start. The source of the noise all along was... <clears throat> Rem. Rem. It'll be okay now. I destroyed all the barriers. It'll be okay now. I finally made it quiet. Good morning, Rem. The purification ritual went smoothly. Took a while, but looks like my resiliency training has paid off. That's the youngest conductor in church for you. Conductor? Wait just a moment. I'll... Ah. Are you still feeling unwell? I don't know. Feeling emotionally unstable after the ritual is a common occurrence. What happened while I was unconscious? Hmm. Who knows? I don't share memories with my mental projections. But it looks like they've done a good job, haven't they? Yes, but... I feel like I'm forgetting something important. That's what the rosary is for. It'll provide you with bias-free rendering of the past events. Here's yours. Rosary. What happened during the ritual? After nu numerous attempts, the source of the dithyrams was silenced by the choir. Am I still com polluted? No. See? I like how it always gets straight to the point. Here, I'll help you get up. Let's see, there are still a few procedures needed to prevent repollution, so you can rest in the garden until we start. I still have other children to attend to, so I'm afraid I cannot provide you with the post-pollution support right now. But I'm sure you were already prescribed numerous confession sessions. You might experience more visions during the next few days, but they should go away soon. Just remember to stay hydrated. Cube, hydrated, humanity, boxes, what? What? So that entire thing was just Ori getting rid of the celestial and Rem? Yeah, I think so. He was in the purification thing, right? But, hey Rem. You're one of the choristers, right? Oh, right. We haven't met yet. I'm Ori. Is something still troubling you? Are you the one I should be having confession sessions with? Hmm. I thought so. Though, I would be lying if I denied it. It's as if there's something missing inside of me. Hmm. Are you sure there was something inside of you to begin with? Huh? Celestials don't affect the happy and fulfilled. They can only fill empty spaces. Are all choristers this rude? <laughs> it's still... Without it, I'm... Conductor says celestials need us more than we need them. So I'm sure you'll feel better soon. 
If you'd like to come visit and share your troubles, we have open doors days on Sundays, though I'm not eligible for providing post pollution pollution support. What to do? I really like Rem to visit again. He's like a little kid, just like the conductor, but younger? Are you sure your conductor isn't hiding something? Conductor is a good person. Brainwashing, monotonous routines, oppressive doctorines. That's how he wants the choir to be seen by others. As long as there are conspiracy theories, as long as there are people who think they're being lied to, they'll get creative in trying to prove their point. They won't need their rosaries for that. In the end, it's up for you to decide. Say, whom do you believe? Huh. I believe there are two endings. So that was one of them. Let me see if I can get the other, the second ending here. Okay, so this is where we were, right? I wonder if the different choices from before affect the outcome. Because we took the lantern. I'm sorry, but it's probably for the best. Wait, what? Okay, primary object. I remember that. Wait, ours wasn't like this. Mario always said, when something is too much to bear, and you feel like you can't go on, write a story. For example, if your favorite pet was to die... What? So this is different as well. So I wonder what choice they made earlier in the game. Yeah. It, ours said conductor from before, but Mar Mary never died. Here, Mary got poisoned. Stop calling me by that name. How long do you plan to keep on pretending? Pretending? I'm not. You're lying. You both know what you're here for. Am I right, Chorister? This does not seem like a good ending. <laughs> Rem. Rem. I don't want it to be quiet. I don't want tomorrow to come. Even though I was supposed to save this person, you're not him, right? You, Rem, I want to stay in the dark. I don't want to be enlightened. I'll throw away my rosary, and then we can all play in the forest. You can keep the shampoo, so please. Rem doesn't answer, but you still grab his arm and run right through the veil. Let go of me. No way. too bright. Then close your eyes. And so you ran with our eyes closed, until you couldn't anymore. There's no light, right? I can't see my own fingers, yet you're here. You stretch out your arms and find Rem's face. You pull on his cheeks, 
Get your bloody hands out of my... <laughs> in the dark, we can dream all we want. Then he mutters an answer. It's something only you wanted. Celestials don't dream. We never ask to be born. Never ask to be bound to the likes of you. Never ask to be vilified. All we wanted for you, all of us, was to leave. All you think about yourselves, you knew that from the start. It could be said for any given species. Selfishness was ingrained in your genes. Selfishness was necessary for survival. It's what led you to this very moment. But you didn't say any of that. What came out of your mouth was... You're right. I'm selfish. So he is a celestial. So tell me, how do I stop this noise in my head? Huh? Ori? Wait. He thought I was the same as him. Humans project themselves onto anything that remotely looks like them. Look at the bottom left room. What? This is the room that we couldn't enter. It's a regular bathroom. So is this the end? What the? What? 
What is going on? Someone entered the room. Oh my god. Is that what we are now? Ori? What? I am... my mind is blown. This ending was way different than the one we got. We got like the... happy ending. <laughs> yeah, that's a... that's a... that's the noise ending. Oh? An alien? Are these the Celestials? Oh, Mary!
is a violet word. That's a celestial? And the conductor? The afterword? Tomorrow won't come for those without blank. It's a story that takes place in a future where humanity is plagued. Uh, please go back. By external psycho diseases. A future where humanity abandoned false narratives in favor of so called absolute narratives. A future where transparency became valued above all else, and personal privacy has lost its importance to ensure safety of the community. A future of eroded imagination and bad short-term memory. It's a story of grief for what's to come and what's no longer here. But at the same time, it's a happy story. It's a story of no tomorrows. So let us put our rosaries aside and laugh. A wonderful futureless future awaits. So, that was Tomorrow Won't Come Without. Well, I guess we fill in the blank, huh? But is my brain just too small? Because I feel like I really, really did not understand much of what the game was uh, going about. Obviously, I there's a few hints here and there, right? Definitely at least some religious undertones well not even undertones it's like the forefront of it true message really seems to be uh pounding in that relying on external beliefs is something you don't want to do who knows maybe there is a story not a story maybe there is a video explaining it all but yeah i'm gonna need a bit of time to perceive this game to be able to i don't know understand what exactly this game was about but i don't know this game gets you thinking right and it was very interesting at the very least i hope to say uh, i was definitely very engrossed committed to the story i was invested ending wasn't really sure what that was all about, especially my ending. I feel like we lost a lot of, what do you call it? We lost a lot of backstory there as to what was exactly going on. I feel like they just ended it by pulling it out of like their mind. But I guess that's why uh, this game has two endings, right? It is replayable. And I guess if you want to go find the true other ending for yourself and play through it. It is available on Steam for $2. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. I know this was a bit of a confusing one, but if you do know what the video is about, if you do know what the game's about, and you know, you have some ideas, any theories, please let me know down in the comments below. I would be very interested in uh, reading through them and seeing exactly what you guys have got. So if you did enjoy the video, Consider subscribing, liking it, and joining us on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Anthony Chen. All right, let me know what you guys think, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.